definitely recommend if you buy a new system, run the test to begin with, because I've had certain clients tell me that even on new systems, they encounter a bad spindle cable. So what we do is I'm going to turn it over here to our ground symbol and everybody's multimeter is different. You can see I got deal up on, on the actual screen. And then I'm going to come over here to whatever arbitrary pin. I'm going to pick uh, the ground leads. And if I go to pin four, we're going to get tone. That means we have full continuity. So basically what that means for the guys that are novices uh, looking at electronics, it just means that the line that's actually connected, the lead that's connected to ground is going through this entire cable and coming over this end and there's no breaks. We're looking for any lead breaks in the line. So when we have continuity, continuity simply means that there's no lead breaks in any of the leads that are connected to this connector. And in, in this term, it would be actually be four leads because again, it's a four pin connector. And we have four leads coming over here that would actually get terminated to the BFD. And that's simply what we're doing. These probes, when, when touching each other, are simply con completing continuity because again, the circuit's being closed. So that's what we're doing a test with, but this is a brand new cable. I can validate these cables in house. And of course I do. You guys need to do this with your systems. If you're running intermittent problems, what you're going to want to do is not just a simple continuity test like this. You're going to want to do the same principle, insert one probe into the spindle uh, connectors end. You're then going to select the end that goes to that actual uh, signal. So once again, if I'm in pin four, it would be ground. 